That's a mysterious chord for a mysterious topic. And the topic today is prepared guitar. Doing things physically to your guitar to get different and interesting sounds. We're not using any effects, pedals, or processing today. Just a little bit of spring reverb, because I like it. And otherwise, we're going to do things to the strings and use strange objects to get unique sounds out of the instrument. I have a small length of guitar string that I'm going to weave in between the strings of my guitar close to the bridge. You want to do this close to the bridge or else it's going to really throw your intonation off. This also sounds horrendous when you have the volume up. So that's cool. All right, now this kind of creates a little bit of like a toy piano, music box, kalimba kind of sound. There's some weird bell-like resonances. and. I also really like this sound with a capo, kind of capo high up. I'm doing this on the ninth fret. And it really gets me into that kind of thumb piano, kalimba, uh, almost like steel drum kind of zone. Super cool sound. I love that. It inspires me to play different things because I'm getting different things out of the instrument. Another thing you can do with a piece of guitar string is use it as a bow on the wound strings on your guitar. It's a lot of fun for not very much money. I have some alligator clips and uh, you can use these for a variety of things. I like to attach it to one string and then let it bounce off of the neighboring string kind of like a hammer dulcimer. You can fade up the volume. And you can use multiple alligator clips for stranger noises.
stuff like this is really cool to create loops uh, and just kind of strange, unusual sounds that you can't really place, but they have uh, a real organic quality to them. You can also use alligator clips to pinch strings together. I'm going to pair up the E and B string, and we'll do the G and D string. And this gives you uh, a real kind of freaky broken bell kind of sound. Also, depending on which pickup you're on, you'll pick up different sides of the strings. Right now, I'm on the neck pickup, but if I switch to the bridge pickup, it'd be great if you were scoring a movie or something. alligator clips for you. Here's one using something that almost all of us who are guitar players have in our pocket, a pick. This is the Tibetan gong sound. Take the pick. Let's see, this is kind of hard to show. What I'm going to do is take this pick, put it under the D string, and over the A string, then kind of flip it so that the strings are kind of wrapped around themselves and put the tip on the G string so that it doesn't flop out. So I kind of have this sort of thing going on. It's much more complicated sounding than it actually is. And this is what it sounds like. This is like the scene in the movie where the hero protagonist is facing off with the big bad guy right before they start their epic kung fu battle. Maybe this doesn't have a ton of application in uh, pop music or when you're backing up a singer-songwriter, but if you're improvising or you're looking for a different sort of sound source for looping or uh, sound design, then it's pretty awesome. almost get sort of a ring modulated sort of sound. In addition to doing horrible things to your guitar, you can also just explore what sounds it has built in behind the nut up here. If you have a jazz master style guitar, there's this beautiful gift of a length of string behind the bridge. Which is super cool. A new guitar, okay. On Strat style guitars, you have this same behind the nut. Sounds different up here, uh, and you have more room to press the strings down so you can do that kind of stuff. Also, you have these sweet springs back here on the back.
so whatever kind of guitar you have, I want to encourage you to just explore the built-in weird sounds that you could make with it, without any pedals or effects or processing. Because I think it puts you more in touch with the idiosyncrasies of your individual instrument and also gives you more ways to get fired from like normal square gigs, which that's a good thing, right? Thanks for joining me. And lastly, as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to make your guitar meow. Just take your finger. You have to be on the neck pickup, and some guitars won't do this, but most will. Take your finger, press it down on the G string so that it's touching the top fret, and then slide towards the bridge. There you go, animal calls. Meow. Does this guitar meow?